Mobile games have become more and more sophisticated as technology has advanced. But not everyone has access to a powerful mobile device to play all the upcoming games to their full potential. And if that's your case, not to worry, because you can use all of your PC's hardware thanks to BlueStacks to enjoy all of the games I'm about to present on today's video. So let's jump right in and take a look at the top high-end games that you can play on BlueStacks right now. The first on our list is Genshin Impact, one of the most popular games at the moment, and for a good reason. The game is incredibly easy to play and accessible, and the game controls include running, swimming, climbing and gliding. You can lock several playable characters as the game progresses, and you can switch between all of them with a maximum of 4 characters equipped at any given time. And this is very useful when fighting against enemies and bosses, since you have the ability to send in a different character that is fully charged up with the special ability once your current player is exhausted, and hence causing massive damage to your opponents. Apart from the main storyline and exploring the game on your own, you can also complete several challenges that have been placed all over the map, which is massive. Completing these challenges not only increase your rank, but also get different rewards that are incredibly useful in your main journey. Black Desert Mobile is a game that has been highly acclaimed for his gorgeous graphics. It is the mobile adaptation of the popular MMORPG Black Desert Online, set in a high fantasy world. And the characters here are very detailed, and so are the maps and the background and all other elements of the game. The combat looks amazing, and each move, spell or skill has a unique animation. Here you can pick between 6 classes in the game, including Warrior, Ranger, Witch, Giant, Valkyrie and Sorceress, my personal favorite. Once you start progressing through the game, you reach a point where you get to build your own base, which will be your safe haven of sorts. And the boss fights here are extremely fun and keep you hooked in the game for a long time. And if for some reason you are bored of playing this game alone, the game multiplayer mode awaits you, which you can use to team up with random players from across the world, to fight against monsters or even other players. As Top 9 Legends, it's one of the best looking racing games at the mobile market right now. The game has over 100 cars, which are divided into 5 different tiers, and it features 4 different types of races that users can partake in. To start with, there's the classic race mode, in which you can go from point A to B and the first one to cross the fishing line wins the race. Next is Time Attack, in which you must cross the finish line within the stipulated time limit. Now the police is on your tail in the hunted mode, and you must escape without getting busted or running out of time. But be careful not to damage your car, since doing this would mean getting busted immediately. And finally, in Slipstream, User can follow a slim stream left behind by cars in front of them, and following it fills up your nitro meter very quickly, allowing you to overtake opponents faster. So there's plenty of mode tiers for everyone to enjoy, and no matter which one you choose, you always have a lot of fun by playing Asphalt 9 Legends on the PC with Bluestacks. Grand Mountain Adventure is a skin game that gives you several snow covered peaks. There is no tutorial, as you simply place in a snowy mountain and you must find the ropes yourself. Not to worry, because here the controls are extremely simple. And from here you can go wherever you like. You can explore the mountain and ski down the various paths you see in front of you. And once you begin skiing down such a path, the game records your time. And here you can even jump and perform tricks as well. And once you're done with a particular path, you can find a cable car to take you back to the top of the mountain, where you can start the process all over again. Next on our list is Spectrum's 48's Oko, a minimalist puzzle platform with an incredible soundtrack and a concept that's very simple yet very refreshing. The main objective here is to tap the screen to jump. Sounds very simple and kind of boring, right? Well. Oko is exactly the opposite of boring, and you probably spend hours hooked to this game. Here you play as a white square pellet that is dropped into a somewhat circular rotating platform, and there are yellow square pellets hanging from some areas on the platform, 
and you must tap the screen to jump in order to catch these yellow ones. And you must do all that quickly and in a few jumps as possible. As you progress, the levels get tougher and more complex. But the best part is that the game doesn't overburden you with a bunch of added components and mechanics. What it does instead is to swap all the mechanics of the easier levels with one of the tougher ones. And one cannot talk about Oku without mentioning how beautiful the game is. There is a solid background to each level, the platforms rotate smoothly and without hurry, the colors are bright and attractive, and everything seems to be in the right place. Not to mention the soundtrack, that is simply amazing. Badlands, like Oko, has only one control, which is to tap the screen in order to make your character fly up and forward. And here, your little gremlin must try its hardest not to fall into any of the traps that the game has placed for you. Some of these traps include spinning fans, saws, pistons, and other booby traps, all placed through the game with the sole objective of killing you. The game also features several types of power-ups spread across the levels, which you definitely must use to complete them. And all of that can be very harsh. There are no narrow escapes, no lucky draws, and no hacks or shortcuts to make the game easier for you. If you mess up, you'll most probably die. And it is exactly this hard environment that makes the game so frustrating, yet very rewarding. Finally getting through the levels you've been stuck on for ages can definitely feel very satisfying. League of Legends Wild Rift is the MOBA adaptation of the very popular League of Legends. Released in 2020, the game has been created by Riot Games and is swiftly becoming one of the most popular games on the Google Play Store. The mechanics in Riot Rift are similar to those of the original PC League of Legends. You must assemble a team of 5 characters, known as champions, and fight against another team of 5. And the main objective of each match is to destroy the opposing team's nexus, by safeguarding your own from being destroyed. There are, however, some differences between the two games. The maps, for instance, are a lot smaller in Wild Rift. The maps on Wild Rift, for instance, are way smaller. And the game also moves a lot faster and requires less time. None of these changes, of course, has been put into place due to the platform difference. But if you want to play with superior graphics and, most importantly, controls, Bluestacks is definitely the way to go. This will definitely give you the edge, especially in a competitive game like this. Playing off the games I presented on this video on Bluestacks will allow you to streamline your gameplay experience, especially when it comes to graphics and performance. Not to mention that you also have access to a ton of awesome features, like being able to play with your keyboard and mouse. So, if you have any questions about the installation process for all the games I presented on this video, let us know in the comment section below. But anyway, that's it for today's video, thank you very much for watching and bye bye!